it's turkey time. And we're gonna draw a turkey that you may be familiar with learning how to draw, but we're gonna try it in a whole different way right now. Okay, Wonder Friends, we are gonna draw this turkey today and I'm turning my page a little bit sideways because my hand's too big for the paper. So if you got that same problem, you need to turn your hands a little bit sideways. But we're gonna put our hand right here. We're gonna use something I'm sure all of you have done before. We're gonna try it in a little bit different way. So as I'm drawing this, I just wanna remind you all that you're gonna draw different than me and that's fine. Your hand's gonna look different than mine. That's fine too. If you feel like I've gone too fast or you've made a mistake, just get me a piece of paper and start it over. Most well, important part is we're gonna have fun with this. All right, so we got this shape. I know you guys have done this before. So we're gonna draw our shape just like that, okay? Close it off. So now we have our hand, right? Now here's where we're gonna have some fun. I want you to draw a straight line out right here and bring a line back just like that and bring another line down just like that. And now we're gonna bring a line all the way around and connect it. Now I know that you have overlap there. That's okay, don't worry about that. We're gonna draw our line down here and just want you to fill it in. So now we kind of have like our little beak right there. Don't worry about that overlap, it's no big deal. All right, we're gonna draw two circles right there on the end. And we're gonna make our turkey looking right at us. Let's put some eyebrows up. Let's make them, you know, like up, like they're really excited. Just like that, okay? Now we're gonna draw a line that's squiggly. Just draw a squiggly line right there. Now turkeys have that little, I, I don't know what it's called, that little thing that hangs underneath their beak. Uh, but we're gonna draw a squiggly line like this just like so. Okay, right in the middle, which would be your palm, right? I want you to draw a wing shape. And all that is is just some lines, right? Just make a shape that's kind of like a wing. Let's make one leg out. Just draw a V like this. And then let's bend the back one. Now it looks like our turkey's walking. Okay, now turkey feathers in the back, they have like different colors and we're gonna do that is we're just gonna draw some shapes like this. Okay, and we'll do one more. Now, here's the thing. If you wanna draw a different design for the feathers, you can. It's your turkey after all, you can make different shapes if you want. And for the feathers on the stomach, just draw some like little, these are just a connected U. So look, a U, connected. Another one, connected. Another one, connected. And another one, connected. Just like that. And I'm going to draw a little shape like this because it's gonna be a little bit different color. So think about like a coloring book. You have these different colors. It's kind of what we're doing here. And this is really where we're gonna start to color in our turkey here. Now, if you change your design in the back and things like that, that's fine too. You can do all of those extra things that you want here. Um, I'm gonna draw a line down here to kind of show the ground, right? Now again, remember my papers is turned like this because my hand was too big. So yours might be up and down, that's okay, but I'm just turning it like that so you can see it a lot easier. Any extra things you want to put, maybe you want to put a hair up there. Maybe you want to put a couple little lines like it's walking. Um, you know, have some fun with it. It's your turkey. Draw it the way you want. All right, guys, we're going to fast forward the video right here so you don't have to sit here and watch me. Now's a great time if you feel like you need to grab anything to color with. Now's a great time to go do it and come back. Uh, but if you want to color just like me, just pause the video at the end and you can do that. All right, let's fast forward that video.
right, wonder friends, as we start to wrap this up, if you want to get any sort of little details in there uh, with your fine point, this is where you can kind of add in. Remember we talked about those U's and stuff like that? You can add in extra feathers, things like that. Those are all just things that help your character look a little bit more turkey-like or whatever. Um, you know, some like little lines, things like this. Those are all extra little bits that help bring this to life for you. Uh, if you want to throw a little shadow underneath there, just another added bonus that helps give it a little you know, darker, darker gray so you can see it better. It helps it kind of come to life. And then the last thing you need to do, so look at, I mean, that was your hand. And then you turned it into this. How cool is that? Take a look at that for a second. Some simple things. Now you can draw these a bunch of different ways. You can draw this with, you know, trace out your mom's hand, your dad hand, grandma, grandpa, anybody's hand, trace it out. And you can have a fun time coloring it and changing up the way that it looks. So the last thing we need to do is we need to sign our name on this. So everybody knows who made this awesome piece of art. Hey guys, hope you had a lot of fun drawing that turkey with me and you used your hand to create something different. Um, here's the cool part. You have two hands. You can draw two different ways. You can flip your hand over. You can have a bunch of hands out in the world. You can dip them in color them in paint, stamp them down and then draw over it. There's all different kinds of ways that you can create these kinds of turkeys. Just because you've drawn it one way doesn't mean you have to draw it that way every single time. You can change it up. You can have fun with it. You can be as creative as you want, making something just because you can. That's the coolest part. And I hope you had a lot of fun doing it. Now, speaking of fun, check out the next videos coming up because I guarantee that they're going to show you some pretty fun stuff. Maybe you didn't know that you could draw them when you started, but by the end of it, you're going to be able to draw your very own version of that. Hey, Wonder Friends, I would love to see the art you create and feature it on one of my videos. With the help of an adult, take a photo of your finished art and post it on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Don't forget to tag me so I can find it. Hey, are you looking for a signed copy of one of my books? Check out my website, wondervillestudios.com for books, t-shirts, mugs, and more. I also do loads of school visits and would love to hear from you about scheduling a visit. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out all the other fun drawing lessons. Until I see you, be the weird you want to see in the world. See ya!